Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Ezio, what are you doing here? T taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, pronti? Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Al attacco! We are in! This way, men! I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? 
No one knows. But something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? A signal again when you should be yours. Uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Ah, the boat. There you are. It seems my plan is to jump into his map. Here is men ambushed. And now we've got our hands. My brothers and I will be with you guys. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See the justice It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, Father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. planning. Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? 
pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avessi sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio, walk with me. Yes, Uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were he to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence. Fra Giocondo. Look familiar? A 
of their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. need aid are welcome here.
Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. 